All right, so what do you want to say about this block, Glenn? Well, you know, this is uh, this is our old camp single vineyard doesn't it, Pinot Noir, and, and what's a little different compared to most of the other things I farm. Uh, this is one of the, the we we actually put this vineyard in about nine years ago. Oh wow! So, uh, eight years ago, I guess. Um, so it, you know, we selected the clones that we thought were best for the soil, the root stock. We've been real happy with this vineyard. Uh, I mean, fruit's always beautiful. It does ripen a little bit early, but it still has these wonderful, cool nights. So, you know, we get this richness and we get this texture, but we still have a really nice acidity on these wines. So this is the Pomard clone. And um, you, so with this, are you going to get darker fruit suggestion or more red mm, fruit I, suggestion? I'd say what I like about it is it's the earthiness. Okay. Pomard to me has a forest floor, mushroomy kind of earthy component that I like. Um, some people might consider that darker, but I still, to me, it's kind of like dirty strawberry. Yeah. You know, so yeah. uh, it's still, we pick it in a, in a red fruit stays. And the stage. soil here, like, it, it looks not ashy to me, but um, um, what is it, just clay, you know, like dry com clay? It's a combination of, uh, it's a clay loam, okay. uh, for sure. Uh, but you know we're on a nice little slope here, so we get good drainage. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't hold too much water in the spring, and I like that about it. Um, yeah, this vineyard and, and the other block we were in earlier, this is uh, Pomard and a Dijon clone. We think it's a good 